All right, all right, come on in. Welcome to this daily free <laughs> spiritual card reading. It's an oracle card reading, like a tarot card reading, that I'm gonna pick. So I'm gonna pick a card, I'm gonna read it to you. You can use this every day <laughs> for your betterment, for your ability to live spiritually, for your ability to live more spiritually awake, and to be able to take on your day as a spiritual being having a human experience. Let's take a look at what it's gonna be, the control card. Ooh, now look how beautiful this card is, first of all. How nice it is when we are in control. What do we mean by being in control? Well, the first thing we mean is being in control of our emotional nature, our emotional nature. Now, what are we talking about? We're talking about the world and its people are a bunch of information that are presented to us all day long. You know this when you watch the news, you know this when you're in conversations with others, you know this <laughs> when you're just driving down the road and you see other traffic signals or people doing things and sometimes even somebody cuts you off even. There's information that is being presented to our conscious awareness space, our third eye space, that observer that we are inside. This information, when it hits us, when we become aware of it, we then will feel a emotional reaction or an emotional response. Now that's what we're talking about. We want to be able to control our emotions so that we can wield them more effectively, more focusedly, more <laughs> lovingly, more lovingly, so that we're not lashing out accidentally, bam, and uh, not physically punching, but bam, like in a reaction where we're saying words or pushing out high charged anger or high charged disgust or annoyance or any of that. We want to be able to control our emotional nature so that we can do it more like the card shows here. All of the green, 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 perfectly orchestrated, much in control. Look at all by the rigidity or the organization of the lines and all of those sharp structures. That shows structure, that shows clarity, that shows control of the emotional body. And it is green because that's the green heart chakra. That's health, wellness, vitality, security, really crisp and fresh. That's the type of emotional expression we want to be able to have in the world so that we are using our emotion like that. We are packing it out into the stream of life in a way that makes us feel like we are on a mission, on a light mission, on a light exchange, on a light putting into the universe, putting into the stream of life, light. Look at all the light up here. So you can see all the light on the card too. It's showing an emotional control a king or queen of their emotional nature. Now, how are we going to get that? Well, one of the most important things to know is that we got to look up. The little arrow here, diagonal here, is saying look up to the light, to the light. What's that mean? That means look up by looking within to the light of God or the light of the universe or source, the conscious light, the conscious light that you are that lives inside of you which really is another way to say the spiritual being that you are. We are spiritual beings having a human experience, having a human experience. And once we continue to go there regularly, to go within to our secret space, to go up there and remind ourselves of who we really are, to remind others that we are spiritual consciousness, spiritual awareness, non-material awareness living inside of a personal self. When we know that position very clearly by describing it, feeling it, writing about it, <laughs> noticing similarities of what people are talking about when they're describing things, when we notice that those are coincidentally talking about or describing the spirit, as we gain more and more recognition of this, it becomes more real of a position for us to live in. Then we have this space up here that is buffered from our emotional nature, from our personal world. We're able to live with our head in the clouds. Now you can see it up here, our head in the clouds. See it in the card. And our feet firmly, 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 boom, 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 on the ground, on the ground, where we are walking and talking and being, and being, where we are dealing with the information that's being presented to our conscious space. So. Whoa, yeah, we want to be in control of our emotions. And the good thing about that is once we are more and more seated as that strong spiritual being, 
our identity kind of takes on a different flavor, a different feel. It becomes very, very impenetrable. Look at that aura. It's like an armor coating. Look at it all. Like this crystalline body that <laughs> nothing can get into because it is not from this world. It is a new material, a non-material thing that the world and its information just can't quite get to where we are. We're in this space. Think about it again like a planet like Saturn. Think about like if your spiritual identity was like the planet Saturn and then all around you was all of the information of the world. It was going around you like a ring, like the rings of Saturn, and it could never get any closer to the edge of those rings. It could never go where you are, really. And it's funny. Jesus said this once in a prayer, not to quote the Bible, but eh, sometimes we do. Jesus said, yo, Father, when he was talking to Source, Universe, Spirit, he said, Father, I ask, well, he said, I'm not asking that you take people out of the world. No, but I do want to ask that they would be where we are, where we are, back here in this conscious space, this ascended spiritual space, because that's the buffer zone where the world and its people cannot go. Jesus was like, yo, where I'm going, you can't go, he said to the other people. Why? Because he's basically saying, I'm going into my secret space, my conscious space, my spiritual identity, where the world and its people can never go, where information can't get to. I'm buffered in the safety zone, one absolute place of heaven, of wellness, of clarity that no one else can be in. So, yeah, 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 we rise above our emotional nature, and that's what we're talking about, about having control. Now, when you have control over your emotions, it's not just about protection or buffering the ups and downs of day-to-day -day life, you know, the news or people complaining or just stubbing your toe or somebody cuts you off in traffic eh. or, you know, you have this much money or this little money or, you know, your car is running really well or it's running kind of crappy. None of that matters so much. We're not really talking about that stuff at all. What we're really talking about now that we're above that, those things become smaller, smaller little ants walking around in our life and we're just not so put off by it we're not so affected emotionally by it because we have more control when we live as a spiritual being our head is above the emotional water whoa and now from that safe and protected place we can do something new we can decide to use our emotional expressions in a flowing pointed crisp sharp diamond direction way. We can bring it all down. Look at it. We bring all that light of the universe down into a very simple diamond tipped point. Boom. That's going to allow us to take actions in the world that have real power, that have real pull, real magnetic force, real succinct, clear, sharp, attractive, whoa, charismatic, yeah, 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 boom, we're going to be able to convey, convey that light in a very specific way, specific way. Through our words, we'll be stitching into our reality the things that we are describing that we want to see come back to us. It's out of the mouth that the world is made, not what we put into our mouth that defiles us, it's what comes out. It's the words we use, the descriptions we make. It is that control over our language, control over the words that matters. Controlling over our words is what makes matter. It matters, it's spell casts. When we're spelling with our words and describing things in detail, we are casting spells. We're spelling, that's why it's called spelling. Witchy witch, right? Super simple when you know that you are this force of good, God, source, universe, this light that then uses the words to describe the things it wants to see come to pass. Now we can go to people and give them a kind word. We can tell other people the good things we see in them. We can describe it with our words and they will then receive the energy, the light of that idea in their own life. It'll help expand and grow and support their spiritual and self esteem in a way that is, boom, miraculous, miraculous. So you have the power of the word to affect other people's lives and to affect your own life, to affect your own life. We want control, not only over our emotions, but over our words, the words we use. When we're calm, when we're safe and protected as a spiritual being, 
Then we're relaxed. We don't feel like there's anything that can really get us. So we can chill out, sit down, sit down and get all healthy and well in that space. Then we can pick and choose what words we're going to use and we can know that the full backing of the universe source is going to be there and it's going to move through those words and it's going to bring to pass in our personal lives that which we are describing. That's how it works. The divine masculine is a set of words. The divine feminine is the light that comes and makes love with it, <laughs> that falls in love with it, that comes together with it to conceive of an experience. The divine masculine words, the divine feminine light, they come together to make a conception, an immaculate conception. And that's what this is all about, having control of the spiritual birthing process. And that means using your words and your emotion to cast spells, cast nets, cast storylines into the world through your words and then through your actions. Because as we talk about and really get behind these ideas and we present them to others or we communicate to others in this clear way, we help to shape the perspective that we're going to see. We help to shape our understanding of what we're going to see out there in the world. And everything out there in the world can be interpreted in different ways. So if you are strongly putting out certain words with emotion power backing it, then you are going to start to look at the world in that way. And only the things that fit into that reality are going to be presented to you. Before you know it, you're going to be talking and walking and living right into the reality that you're trying to shift towards, that you want to be in. This is very, very incredible, this gift that we are all given as creative beings, as co-creators, you want to call it that, or just the children of God, if you want to call it that, or just, you know, creative, creative. So we want creative control, and we're going to get that again. The card is reminding of that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So control over our emotions. Whoa, 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 whoa. Control over our words. Look how I'm able to just rise high and then bring it right back into the oh, here and now. When we have the control over this, we just <laughs> blossom like never before. And as you practice, as you practice, which means what? As you practice reminding yourself that you are a spiritual being, a consciousness and awareness. And as you practice being aware of the words that you're sharing and the emotion you're stitching into them, you'll get better and better at wielding them, at wielding them and being the king or queen of reality, of your personal reality. Oh yeah, the last thing we want to say here is look at all these little starlights trickling down and look at all these little, right here, this little orangish buy-in. This is the buy-in, the magnet, magnetic buy-in of other people in your life. They're all going to start looking at you in a different way. They're going to be like, whoa, she <laughs> has changed. Or, whoa, he, <laughs> he's really not quite what I thought. Hmm, what's going on here? It's going to help awaken them up to that diamond-tipped space of anything is possible. They're going to Transform and change before your very eyes because you, my friend, are going to travel into that other reality that you are describing with your emotions and your words. That is your reading for today. Enjoy creating your day, responding with higher space ideas, with buffered space elixir. Enjoy all of the beautiful playground that we call this world, it is an adventure. And if you can get silly with it too, like, whoa, 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 what? If you can get playful, like hmm, yesterday's reading. If you can get forgiving, like the day before that's reading. If you can bring these principles into practice, then you're just going to have this sense of ease and comfort that allows the light and the control to happen more naturally. And it's just going to be a big, big, big win for you and everyone else. Thank you for watching this video. Look, if you don't have a YouTube channel yet, uh, take control of that by simply making a YouTube <laughs> account. It's free and it only takes a few minutes. Then you can subscribe to my channel. Why? Because I'm going to be putting out daily oracle card, tarot card readings, spiritual readings to help shift your reality, empower you to help attract more of what you're looking for in life. When you do this, make sure when you subscribe that you hit the little notification bell. We need to do that so that it will alert you each time a new video is published. 
Whoa, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video. How did it feel? What did you think about the energy that was shared? What did you think about the emotion? What did you think about the words, the collection of words? What hit you as important? Whoa, what you talk about and describe comes back and comes alive in your life. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. See you in the next video tomorrow. Yeah.